that there was an adult male in the area of 4,800 block of Bryant Avenue North with a gun. A second call subsequently came in to 911 describing that this same individual carrying a gun uh, had fired shots uh, in the area. Our fourth precinct officers responded to this scene and at some point in time a foot pursuit ensued uh, to the area right around 48th and Bryant. Um, they encountered this uh, adult male with the handgun, and uh, ultimately uh, this uh, adult male was shot. Um, at that point, uh, as soon as I was notified, I went into our investigative protocol involving officer-involved shootings and contacted our BCA. Um, commissioner was notified, uh, the superintendent of the BCA, and their um, officer-involved shooting team arrived at the scene here and now they um, have full control of this investigation. Uh, we are basically right now at a point of securing the scene for them while they conduct their investigation and certainly are making sure that our personnel are available to them uh, as they will need to get information and gather uh, more facts from them. Uh, that is the information uh, that I'm updating our community at this time. We do not believe that there's any uh, current threat to the neighborhood, and uh, again, the BCA is conducting and handling this investigation. This afternoon, there was an officer involved shooting during which a man was killed. The officers arrived on the scene in response to two 911 calls indicating that a man was firing a 9mm handgun that was silver. The victim was armed and the case has been referred to the Bureau of Criminal Apprehension for investigation. I was turning the corner here. That squad car 420 right there come out. Two of the guys jumped out the car, left their doors open. I seen them. The guy was sitting there, him and his woman and a little baby in a stroller. There was they, a baby with them? Yes, it was a newborn baby in a, in a stroller. They were sitting on the corner drinking where that green cup is sitting at right uh -huh. there. See that green cup? And as I was coming, the cop swung around the corner, almost hit me. I pulled it over. And they tased him right here. Did they yell anything to him? Yeah, they said, freeze. Don't move, don't move. And then they tased him when he stood up like this. They tased him. And he broke out the running. And I heard 9, 10, 11, 12 shots. Did they yell anything before they started shooting? No, I just heard the shots. After he started running, they opened up on him right there in the alley. Okay. They killed him. So both of our officers uh, had the body cameras on and activated, uh, and we've already I've already provided the direction that uh, as much information as possible will, will be released as quickly as possible. We want this process to be absolutely and completely transparent, and that's the direction we're going to be taking it. Uh, there's going to be different layers of trauma that they're going to go through, and so we want to be sensitive and respectful of that. Uh, but our relationship building never stops, and so we're going to have to continue to do that. My heart is heavy knowing that tonight in Minneapolis we mark the beginning of another chapter in this painful history. In the days ahead, I'll continue working with our chief, Arredondo, to gather all the facts and to take action wherever necessary.
Another African American man or woman. 